Okay, so first step is we go into Google and we search for A-Frame. Uh, we then go into the, their website and you have uh, the introduction of what it is. You have the HTML um, and you can see all the explanation there. Then we're going to go to getting started and we will see multiple things amongst them a table of contents and we're going to focus on play with CodePen. That is very simple because we can just open it directly uh, into CodePen um, so our HTML will be exported directly there if we have a personal profile then we will fork it into a profile and we're going to close and minimize the CSS tab and the JS tab since we're going to only be focusing on HTML. <clears throat> So now that we're here, you have all the variables and we're going to start modifying them. And I'll show you that it's very easy. So this is uh, our scene. And what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, modifying this cylinder. And you have the height, for example. We can easily change that just by modifying the variable into two. Um, the radius as well, so it will be 0 0.1. It will be way thinner. And yeah, we can for just for fun modify the position, so we just leave it at one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start doing the same with the color. So instead of yellow, then we'll go for a magenta color and oops, suddenly it's there. Very easy and simple stuff. So then we're going to modify our box and very easy. We're going to turn it into another object or mesh, this time a cylinder. We put the cylinder at the beginning of the A-frame and at the end of the same line, I mean. And then we're going to modify its position to make it look like the other one. So the position, minus one, one, minus three. And the rotation, we're just going to leave it at zero. Um, and the height, then we're going to modify it by two. Um, so it will be the same height as the cylinder just opposite it. And the width, in this case, we are going to just get rid of it and bring on the radius, which is the variable for that particular object or mesh, the cylinder. And we are going to put radius as the same as the other one. Um, and we're going to just get rid of the depth because we don't need it. And then we're going to do the color the same as the other one. We want them basically to look like pillars, so we're going to put magenta. And there you go. So two pillars, magenta color. So now that we have uh, the two pillars, um, we are going to modify the sky and we are going to put a light blue color on it. And then we're going to go to the last element that we're missing is the sphere and we're going to basically turn it into a torus. So as before, torus in the beginning and at the end of the line and then we are going to modify its color because i don't like that one so we are going to basically erase that color so you can put the name of the color instead so in this case hot pink uh, or like hot pink and um, we're going to leave it like that and just modify uh, the radius a little bit so we're going to make it a full number a two and one of the great things is that you can just copy and paste if you want to do another torus you just cut and paste copy and paste the line and you can modify it as you wish the variables for example there you have a radius uh, three this time instead of two and the color in blue instead of hot pink and there you have it our scene our very first scene on a frame um, and thanks for watching